10 tips to stay in flow when you're in Procreate. So number one, four fingers to hide the menus. This will hide the top menu and bottom menu. Number two, pinch to rotate and scale. So this will allow you to move the canvas. You don't have to adjust your iPad. You can just rotate and scale the canvas. Double tap for the eraser. Uh, double tap to switch to the eraser and double tap to get back. Two finger tap to undo. So if I do two fingers here, made a mistake, undo, undo. And then there's three finger tap to redo. So if I undo that, but I actually wanted that back, then a three finger tap will redo. Number six, long press to switch to a color on the canvas. So I'll often do something like this where I'll mostly be drawing in black and white. And instead of having to switch to open this up to get back to white, I can just long press and then select a color on the canvas. Number seven, the radial menu. So let me clear this out. I have this mono line brush. If I want to switch, I have three brushes that I'll usually use. So I also have this technical pen for just like writing words and things like that. And then Jasinski ink uh, to do like this highlighter effect. Number eight, also radial menu. This is kind of like this is a key thing, is just setting up your radial menu. So let's see, what else? Um, radial menu, copy canvas. This is something that I use a lot, where I'll copy the canvas and then paste this on my MacBook. And with the universal clipboard, I don't have to go export this, airdrop it to my MacBook, find it in my downloads folder. Instead, I can just copy the canvas, and then paste it to a document, paste it to Twitter, anywhere where you can put an image, it, you can usually paste an image in. Number nine, radial menu again, new layer. So often I will do something like draw some shape, and then I'll draw another shape. But when I go to this, I want to just move one of the shapes, and I'll have to go and select this and move that, separate it to another layer and move that. But instead I can, if I, if I know I'm going to like resize something, I will just go create the shape and then create a new layer, create the other shape. Then I kind of know that this will be, let's see on another layer already. And there's just a lot of different uses for creating a new layer, so it is nice to just have it here. Let's see. Instead of having to oops, open up the menu and then create the new layers here, I can just create it from the radial menu. Number 10, three finger swipe down. So this is to give you cut, copy, copy all, duplicate, cut and paste, and paste. So the two that I use here a lot, one is duplicate, just to duplicate a layer. And then the other one is cut and paste. So if I do happen to say I have all of this on one layer, one nice thing here is that I can come in here, draw this out, like, oops. I want this on a separate layer so that I can move it and just keep it on a separate layer. I'll do a three finger swipe here and then hit cut and paste. And now I don't have to copy, create a new layer, paste it on there. Instead, it's just separated out into its new layer. And this can come in handy if you are moving things around in different layers. And if I want to draw someone in here, but realize, oh, I need it because oh, it's on similar the same layer but i want to move it then i'll just go in here three finger swipe hit cut and paste and now it's on its own layer 